I'll be um, showing you guys how to do a wave slash ripple effect. Um, so yeah, I, I have all my clips as they are. I've done I've done all my transitions and panning and cropping. Um, if you guys want to know how I did that and everything, um, leave the comments below and I can do a separate tutorial on that. So um, I'll take this effect off just now. Um, so this effect is in your video effects. And um, if you don't have that, go to view, window layouts and default layout and that will set everything back to where it should be. So if you go to wave, I usually pick large because it just looks better in my opinion. So if you look at this, we have our wave. It looks pretty distorted. For this, I'm going to do horizontal because I prefer it horizontal. So you guys can do whatever one you feel like. You could do vertical or whatever. So you take everything vertical away and just mess about with the settings. So I have mine about there for sure. So we have we have our thing, but it's, it's not it's not moving or anything. So what you need to do is you go to the anime button, the animate button, sorry, at the bottom, and you make sure you're at the very start. Make sure you have this button on because it sh it moves your thing and it also shows on there where you're at. It's a lot easier if you do this. I forgot what it's called to be honest. So make sure you're at the very start and drag it all the way through to the end and just put all of it down and that will animate it. So as you see, so as you can see we have a ripple effect. I will try and if I can find the thing. Okay, we have a ripple effect there. There you go. So yeah, that's a pretty quick and brief tutorial. Um, you can do this with how many, as many as you like. Um, you can do it different ways. You can do it vertical. So if I change this and do it vertical. So you can also do it first. So yeah, whatever preference you like. So yeah, um, any questions, leave them in the comments and I will try and answer them as best as I can. So bye.